So, welcome, uh, our newest reviving artist. Thank you so much for producing this for us. It is wonderful. Uh, but before we talk about this, I just want to ask you a few questions. So first, who are you? What's your name? I'm David. Amazing. And uh, <laughs> where are you from and what do you do? Yeah. Well, originally I'm from Port Seton in East Lothian. Uh, that's where I was brought up, kind of east of Edinburgh. And I am a full-time self-employed artist. Fantastic. Uh, and what would be your main medium as an artist? Uh, mainly acrylic paints mm -hmm. in a realistic style, mm -hmm. painting landscapes. And you're saying recently you've been working on a series of specific uh, peaks, is that right? Yeah, so at the moment I'm focusing on the 8,000 metre peaks mm -hmm. in the Himalayas. Mm -hmm. Hopefully hoping to paint all 14 of them and create a wee gallery for that. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Uh, and uh, turning to this project, um, having uh, gone through the project from the start where we think about revival through to now, um, if you had to give a definition of reviving or revival that's maybe it's most true for you, what would you say? I would say revival is like a journey from something that's in maybe a bad state or a, a more like negative mm. place or situation to a more positive and life-giving situation or mm. state. And would you say, in terms of this piece, you can maybe observe a slight gap or maybe path that goes through these trees? Um, is that in some way tied into that idea of journey? Yeah, it is. That's, um, yeah, it's very intentional, having the path that's going through those trees mm -hmm. and leading up to the top of the mountain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's intentional. And has the way that you think <laughs> about revival, reviving, has that changed at all over the process of being involved in this? I think so. I think it's definitely like reminded me or like where I'm at in mm -hmm. my own revival. Hmm. Uh, journey depending on what that is whether it's just like a situation in life hmm. um, or a certain process that isn't at the, the sort of mountain top experience hmm. but is more going through the the dark forests hmm. according to the picture that yeah. you can see well absolutely and then um, and looking at this piece the first thing I noticed um, when I saw this first was these dark trees, which um, mm -hmm. dominate a large part of the canvas, um, <clears throat> which I found very interesting because if I was to maybe commission a, let's say, conventional mountain scene, that this ratio maybe isn't one that you'd expect. So why do these dark trees dominate so much of it? Well, for me, it's more about the perspective. Okay. So. The trees obviously are not as like vast or as big as the mountain mm. and the experience of that. It's all about the perspective of when you're at standing at the trees, they appear larger mm. than what's ahead of it. So obviously in this picture, it looks like the trees go on forever and the, mm. the darkness of it is like dominant mm. and the mountain is just like something in the distance or actually like yeah, it's purely just about the perspective of because when you're at the mountain, the trees are not going to appear like that at mm. all. It's going to be the other way around. Mm. So that's why. Um, so I think in terms of like the revival, it can mm. seem like on the journey that the I don't know if you'd what you would call it the dark passage mm. <laughs> can seem like it's more looming mm -hmm. than the end result. Yeah. So that, that's what my thought process was when I was painting this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is very much painted from the perspective of someone who is st standing in these woods um, mm -hmm. with these trees that do seem overwhelming and we might see mm -hmm. with dark, difficult things in their lives. Um, overwhelming um, mm -hmm. uh, 
with the possibility of revival in the future, being visible but being seeming smaller and mm -hmm. more remote. Um, so, <clears throat> in terms of that, in terms of this, let's say, a metaphorical journey from the dark trees up through the lower slopes to the mountaintop experience of revival, mm -hmm. um, would you say that, where would you say that you were painting this um, and are you in a different place now? I think, if I'm being honest, I would, I would say that I'm in the place of where you would be viewing this, mm. like at, at the, uh, the trees it's the loom larger. Mm. Um, yeah, I think, because I know that having that picture of the, the mountain top in the distance mm. is kind of like the motivation for going through the, mm. the trees. Um, but yeah, I would definitely say that I kind of painted this from my own maybe perspective mm. at the moment. <laughs> Mm. And did that perspective shift at all over the course of painting it? For example, is the mountain now more or less in view than it was at the start? I'm not too sure, I think, because it's only been a few months, mm. that it's, it's more of, of a longer term journey than just... Mm. So I would say that... Mm. I would can be more consistently still roughly in the same place, but maybe having glimpses of a bigger mountain mm -hmm. than, I don't know, being further on yeah. overall and just like being past that stage where the trees loom, mm -hmm. loom larger than the end result. Mm -hmm. um, and as you know, at reviving artists, we're interested to know what, how people's uh, faith journeys and where they're at with faith is influencing their art and bringing a certain flavour to it in some way, either directly or indirectly. So, um, does this does this journey that the um, person in this picture is on, um, that you maybe have been on, is that tied into your faith journey? Does that reflect it in any way? I think it does, yeah, because the, the faith journey, the, the life, the Christian life mm. is it is in effect a passing through a, a life where the world is is broken mm. and there's a lot of suffering and mm. um, a lot of the sort of perspectives of pain mm. and suffering looking larger than the end joy or the end glory yeah so i think yeah i think it does you could say it does um paint a picture mm. of the Christian life and yeah that I can definitely relate to that experience mm -hmm. and sometimes faith or the Christian journey can be described um, occasionally as quite an easy upward slope um, do you think Christians are always as honest about some of the struggle and difficulty and dark patches yeah i think yeah i think a lot of christians are maybe not honest enough mm. about that because like nowhere in the bible does it say that life is like an easy upward journey and you can clearly see that mm. all over scripture um mm. i think in terms of like from the bigger picture or the macro level mm -hmm. That's word, yeah. <laughs> um, it is in effect like an upward journey. You're going from you're dead in your sins to <laughs> glory. But mm. that journey is by no means just a suffering gets less and less. Mm. It's, it's like it fights you till the end. Mm -hmm. So that was the, uh, I guess that's the idea of the trees going all the way up the mountain as well mm -hmm. here because it's upward with a fight <laughs> and yeah so I think a lot of Christians are more honest mm -hmm. about their struggles is actually mm -hmm. the 
more freeing. Yeah. Whereas we need to be honest, we can't fake our way through it. <laughs> mm-hmm. And this, I think, makes for the most interesting art as well, mm-hmm. because I think what we've seen on Reviving Artists um, and what we see more broadly in the world is that when Christian creatives are um, honest about their experience of faith uh, and the journey they're on, um, it creates the most powerful and interesting pieces. Um, mm-hmm. Would you say that this is in some ways quite an, an honest um, exploration of where you are? I think so, yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, if anyone knows me, like, they know that very quickly I can become honest. Maybe too honest sometimes, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that's definitely, um, I would definitely say this is a, a accurate reflection of Maybe my life journey and mm. journey walk with God. Mm. Well, thank you very much. I'm sure uh, <laughs> many people who will have interacted with this and, and explored this piece will be interested to find out more about you and your art. So, where can uh, viewers find out more about you? Yeah, so you can find out more about me in my Facebook page, uh, my art page, and that. I've also have a an Instagram page as well and very newly this week I've opened up an Etsy shop where you can uh, purchase one of uh, three prints or prints of uh, three of my pictures but that will be expanding more in time. Mm. Okay, fantastic. Well, David, uh, our newest reviving artist, thank you very much for coming in and speaking to me today. Thank you very much. (laughs)